Hi there. Thank you so much for reading this week's twos letter. So I want to talk about a tool that I've been using with some of my younger students this year, or even some of my newer ones, when they need a really systematic, but also hands-on tool for mapping the um, speech to print. I have found this tray. This is actually a paint tray when you look at it, and there'll be a link for this to find. But when I looked at the sections, I found this was going to be perfect. And I love that I could use it if I only have a couple of phonemes, or I can flip it if I have more. The other thing is that you don't have to just use this for linking your um, speech to print, you could also use it by breaking words down um, by syllable or by morpheme. But I'm going to just quickly demonstrate how I would use it with a younger student that I've been um, just working on basic CVC words with them, short vowel sounds. So we either put in um, balls of Play-Doh here. I know I'm holding it up. It's a little tricky. So a green ball. And then if you have yellow Play-Doh or orange for the middle sound, and then a red ball of Play-Doh there so that students will mash the Play-Doh down when they tap it out. If you don't want to use little balls of Play-Doh for them to mash down, I like these big poppers. I don't like the little poppers. I think these are much better to really get that pop sound in there. I use these a lot. And um, I found the poppers that you can snap together in a row to their individual or you can snap them. Um, I'll talk more about that. I am planning a blog post on this. It's just that I figure, let me just do a quick tutorial for this time. So, all right. So Play-Doh up top or little poppers. In the middle section, if you want, you can use your magnet, uh, let, you can use your letter tiles so they can, uh, once they've tapped it out, then they can build with letter tiles. And then in this section, they will write it. So if I was to tap out, say, bat with the plato, with the Play-Doh, b at bat. And then I could put my little letter tiles in there, magnetic letters, whatever you want there for bat. And then mapping it out by writing in the corresponding letters. B A T. And you know what? Dry erase markers work really well on these trays and they do erase really, really well. So that was another bonus when I tried this tray out. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can use a dry erase marker on it. And I can. They clean off beautifully. They have a nice surface. So anyway, that is how I use these paint trays. Give it a try. I'll put a link to that in, um, in with this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.